we will take it on to the game that will decide who will win this match. Okay, we saw Kyle TC flexing on that uh, Brendang Malakas uh, sticker or em em emoji for uh, the game. So, uh, yeah, in terms of uh, the jungling pattern, I'm excited to see on how and uh, where can Ogwen and uh, even Cars delay or Ogwen and uh, Audit Easy can uh, delay the rotation here of the jungle. So, Game number one and game number two has been a story of disrupting uh, the jungling pattern. So uh, it's something that uh, uh, these junglers have been heavily relying to. And looking at the player emblems, nothing much. It's just that in terms of uh, the mages, definitely for Falcon Sapir Brand, it's more on the burst damage. Now for Suelo, it's more on those uh, heavy pokes. Yeah, and Kaltizi right now, he is approaching level four so very very quick um farming by him and if we take into consideration the previous time where he was the mvp he actually got the most goal per minute so farming is definitely his specialty especially now that he's handed hayabusa yep uh, definitely uh, gonna be a fast one and expect that there's gonna be a team fight at the bottom lane because this is where the turtle will spawn so as long as uh, there is someone from the side of rebel esports maybe falcons ap brand um to uh, guard that lane there's a high chance uh, that uh, they can defend those XP laners. So things are a bit slow for both teams. Very, very calculated aggression. Very, very far from uh, game number one and game number two. Well, let's see. Because this might be the fight that may set the tone for the round. But in the middle, I'll be easy. Okay, he is tanky enough as an edif though. So at this stage, everyone's like, a, a lot of that is like level three, maybe level four. So they're not able to get that kill against RDTZ. RDTZ not based, he's still A-OK. -okay. He can still to join the fight at the turtle. Yeah, but uh, for uh, Falcon Safety Brand, uh, they are the first ones to position on this turtle oh, tank. Oh, but second time around, RDTZ still got a way to safety, but this time... Oh, God. wow! Okay, here's the Spear of Destruction, Flap DZ. Comes in to commit, Blamdizi will be given the first blood and Odditizi will be the one to take it home. Cars kind of low at this moment, but uh, Rio down as well. So without Rio, without the retribution, of course, Falcon CP Brand will take it. That was a very risky play by Falcon CP Brand, but the good thing is that they are able to secure this turtle one out. And we can see that flicker of a penalty zone from Blamdizi. But at the same time, we also have to commend the potential of Sway Lowe's IMU. Uh, Eternal Guard because it was the one that uh, wreaked havoc against uh, Falcon Safety Brand. So it's a uh, one to one uh, kill during that moment, but still Falcon Safety Brand on the upper hand because of the turtle secure. So far, things are looking good in terms of the laning on uh, this uh, uh, marksman. Okay, folks, as a middle lane. Oh, Ogwen right now takes a good amount of damage on Kaltizi, comes in. But that's not the target that they want. RDTZ is not that high. RDTZ is more like, okay, absorb the damage, absorb the skills, and see if they can counter. But the counter didn't happen. Yeah, uh, probably because of fuse damage is not uh, sufficient yet. So he's still waiting. Uh, probably the first item here is the Enchanted Talisman for the pokes against Rebellion Esports. But, uh, yup, three minutes into our game, uh, because of the difference of range between Supermarket and Matt, we can see that there's a level difference on them. So expect later on! Oh, cars became the opener, and oh. that's where Flap TZ paid for it. They used the emoji of uh, Flap TZ to himself. <laughs> no, 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 Flap TZ has been doing it. Yeah, our rebound esports is a nice thing that they, they're rotating and focusing on a cross map play against Flap TZ because this is where the difference could be. If uh, Flap TZ isn't around, it would be hard for Ogwen to rotate on other lanes and give vision for. Coil TZ and uh, Fuel. So for Rebellion Esports, all they need to do is to go for a cross map play. Probably later on, focus on a Supermarket Slade. Just to limit the potential, you know? But. Uh, whoa. Whoa. Okay, we we be get Okay. Spare a bit of damage to Suelo, but I kind of doubt there's enough damage anyway to get the kill. So probably here for Coil uh, the goal was. Lessen the life of Rio prior to Turtle, so it won't be efficient for them to go for a contest. Oh, but Cars takes that damage, and with the Dakota's welcome, they come in to counter back on the members of Falcon oh, AP wow. Brand. Will the Spear of Destruction teleport him? Looks like the answer is no, and because of that, Blap DZ will go down no further. 
Execution here by Falcon's AP brand. Republican Esports, however, oh. it's not done, you know. Nice flick away by Suelo. That was great mechanic show. But they're still not over yet. The turtle is still up for grabs so far. Matt is here. Bouncy and Matt ball. will try to get it. Bouncing ball. Suelo kind of low. He cannot continue to tank anymore. Ooh. And Rio will secure that turtle. No steal from Falcon's AP brand. Right on a point for Rio. But we really have to commend Matt. Suelo is playing really good. Again, they won the team fight earlier because of that nice placement for uh, the Eternal Guard. And if you're Falcons AP Bren, specifically Owen, you have to find Sway Low. If not, it's gonna be a bit of a headache for them. So uh, because of that, there's a difference, yes, in terms of uh, the gold, surprisingly, few is up on lead versus Sway Low. So the difference is more on when is the Eternal Guard used? So for your Boeing Esports, it's always sway low on point. While for a few, it's more on the defensive side. So we might see changes later on depending on the setup play. But take note that Rio already has Ooh. that Holy Crystal. How? Oh, almost an engagement there. But anyway, it won't be a big move here on the cars. Uh, because he is tanking up underneath the turret. You don't want to take that risk for now for yeah. Falcon's AP brand. Cars doesn't have the fuel yet. He's a oh. car and he needs fuel. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's an electric car. Yeah. Uh, oh, Environment friendly. He's now. still charging. He's still charging. Yeah. yeah. Charging for the next fight. Oh. Well, probably here for the Valley East. Okay. We see Sky Piercer now for Kyle TZ and the Radiant Armor for Ogwen. So this might be a combination of maybe a Tyrant's Rage, Bouncing Ball, and those Shuriken Blades from uh, Kyle TZ. So, uh, oh, oh, thanks. Oh, oh shadow. it's getting nasty here. Okay, yes, looks like things are going to get nasty right now with the Dakotas. Welcome, the Spear of Destruction have arrived. And Matt is going to be here joining up with his teammates. And Matt from the back, not letting the space for Valkyrie. We're ready to run away as they secure that one kill onto Orquen. Looking for more, but they're getting the Guardian is there. But look who has arrived oh! from the side. It's going to be Count Easy. But Matt still survived thanks to Suelo. Yeah, has Suelo again. Limiting the movement of Kyle TZ at the time. That was a nice shadow strike placement. But wait, they're taking a turtle now. Who's gonna take it? It's gonna Kyle be Kyle TZ. That is the turtle there by Kyle TZ. He will make sure that turtle will not go on to the hands of Rebellion spawn. Oh, but bad! No. Punishes Kyle TZ back. They were ready here against Kyle TZ, but Flap TZ isn't done yet. So that's gonna be a kill against Flap TZ out the ball lane. There's gonna be a threat here for Falcons. AP Bren, Rebelli Esports, more pokes! Oh, execution here on two cars, and looks like the car will need to take some time to refuel. Okay, refuel on that electric car for Rebelli Esports. 5 3 is our score, Sir Cloud, and none of the teams are ready to, you know, um, surrender the team fights. Mm. It's as if uh, all along we thought that the team fight is al has already ended, but for Falcons AP Brand, if they can leap to that perimeter of team fight, then they will go for it. But look at the gold leaderboard. So it's uh, Kyle TZ and Super Marco up top, which means Super Marco has two core items, but also same goes for Matt. So he has the Corrosion Sight and even a Golden Staff. So it's more in the positioning now of the Eternal Guard that's going to be crucial here for both Rebellion Esports and Falcons AP brand. So a little bit low scoring game, but uh, things are looking good for Rebellion Esports as they take down a turret at the bottom lane. Yeah, good in terms of the kills and also by taking down the uh, bottom turret. But then again, for Falcons AP brand, they still have the goal advantage. 2k. Yeah. But Okay, let's see what happens here with this uh, Lord fight, right? I, I it, it looks like this Lord fight might also set the tone. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Um, but uh, speaking of uh, setting the tone up, I think Flappies is going to be uh, the go-to guy of Falcon Safe Bren from uh, the setup. M because of uh, the Queen Swings, I kind of feel like for Ogwen, a function would be the protector of uh, Few and uh, Super Marcus. So we'll see. If uh, that's going to be the play for them, but definitely they're waiting for a possible kill against Rebellion Esports as the Lord is now up for grabs. So uh, they're just waiting for that perfect timing. And uh, Falcon Saber Baron still on the lead, but Suelo now has the Winter Crown. Somebody has to check from Falcon Saber Baron what the items are for the players of uh, Rebellion Esports. It could be a big for them. Okay, they are targeting me. Why not me build 
a winter crown. Hmm. And if uh, Rebellion Esports, they are not aware of that, then, well, they could be baited there by uh, Falcon Safety Brand. So we've got to uh, keep that in check as well. When we look at the level leader board here, Kartisi is level 14. He's at least two levels of us real yeah. and bad. Yeah, it's as if uh, you are in an arcade game and you're almost close to the final boss. Uh -huh. Something like that. And you're out of credits? Risk, yeah, out of <laughs> credits. You are to buy another token for it. And you're almost close to saving that princess. And that princess for Falcon's AP Bren is going to be this lord. That is the key into winning this game. Again, uh, stakes are high for Rebellion Esports. Although, oh, okay, they, uh, it's uh, more of them ending their tournament oh. life with a higher note, right? Yeah. But uh, interesting enough, you did point out that the princess, right? the princess there has been asking for help for the longest time, but these two teams are not going for it. But now, speaking about going for it, cars, ah! fall, cars, very, very opposition, all the way behind the members of Falcon AP Brand. No way for the members of Rebel and Esports to save him, but Rebel and Esports, they still want the challenge for the Lord. The Lord is down to 30% of health. Rio is waiting at the side, waiting at the bush, but it looks like he is not going to pursue further. Oh, he knows that it's too risky for him. Conceal play, but uh, that's j just gonna be a face check here for Falcon Safety Brand. We have the immortality already for Auditz, and again, this is the Lord already half on life. Ah, uh, Auditz, he needs his backup right now. Spear of oh! Destruction has arrived. The Lord is pretty low, and Rio will steal away the Lord. And that is a steal that is very, very important for them. But Suelo might go down in the process. One flicker away. All going to be going oh, for the chase. Oh, and oh. he will still get it. No, he did not. He did not get Suelo. Suelo got away the safety. And Count is there to make sure that he at least gets something on this. But for Suelo, he is still alive. Okay, again for oh, your Okay, okay. Oh. So this players need a breather, Ooh. you know? It was a Lord team fight. It was a long Lord team fight, but yeah, it was Rebellion Esports securing that one. And that is because, again, of the IMU Eternal Guard of Suelo. So all the kits that he needed was there. They were able to zone out Kyle TZ. He was forced to back away even without him trying to take the retribution on the floor. So Rebel Esports has to capitalize this Lord and Falcons AP Brand. They have the kit to defend this one out. They have the damage, yes, but they really have to find Suelo. Suelo is just shredding all the intel that Falcon AP Brand has against them. Man, but look at this like conceal gameplay by the side. Audi TZ as well as Rio shows themselves towards Blood TZ and Ogwen. And uh, keep your eye on the top lane as well because uh, Kyle TZ and do something funny there, but oh, Matt oh. is still at the top lane. But in the middle lane, okay, Spear of Destruction will not connect onto anyone, so Matt will need to walk his way through. He wants to support his teammates, but no necessary movement needed. Yeah, it's a nice thing for Falcon Saper Baron that they're still able to uh, defend this uh, turret at the middle lane. So uh, Ogun doesn't have the flicker, by the way. So uh, it's uh, kind of predictable where his uh, tire range is going to be. So it's 6-7 for this game. 30 minutes in on, into our game time and Auditz is just giving information for your Bellin Esports. And, okay, this is where Falcon's AP Brand is walking. And this is the path that they will take. You have to be safe, but we're cars. He has the flicker. We might see that uh, uh, flicker. The Tonas will come against uh, maybe Kyle Teezy or maybe Super Marco and even Few. So uh, that's a threat for them. But uh, the winter counts are really working nicely here for both of our teams, both for Suelo and even Flapteezy. It's just a matter of when and where oh, we oh will no. use it. Conceal way! Oh, no. oh did Teezy got caught! Oh, oh no! He was in the bush. He was praying that Falcon's AP ban will not pass through that bush. But the moment they did, he he stood no chance. There was no way he was going to get out of there. You know what, Sir Cloud? I kind of feel like Rebellion Esports are into cars. We have uh, an electric car and we have an Audi TC. Oh, <laughs> I see what you did there. Yeah. But you, the <laughs> you get into dad jokes now, huh? Yeah, yeah. I'm into dad jokes now, huh? But there are 6-8 for our score and Audi TC and... Uh, uh, the rest of the Rebellion Esports squad has to be mindful on how deep they are in the map because definitely Falcon Esports are ready to take a kill against them. Uh, all the way to the back. Ogwen was prepared for it as now Kars will need to back out. He's kind of low. He cannot continue on. But Kars will still want to be there because 
he wants to do as much as possible. Well. His health is back up to about uh, 40%, so he can still contribute to this team fight. Okay, Falcon say April Brent saw that the Tonas welcome supposedly from cars. So uh, that is why they're forced oh. to back away. And oh, when? Here we go. Looks like Ogre will take that damage, but then again, he's meant to do so, so that's A-OK. -okay. Super Marco. He push check. And Suelo, now he's kind of low. He will be forced to return back to reset. That is a long battle of attrition here for both of our teams. Definitely one of the longest uh, Lord fights that we had for this series. I can't imagine that this is just the first match of the day. Because with no oh, play... Oh, the jump! It will stop now. The inhibitor turret will be taken down though. So they do not have that as extra protection. The Lord is still A-OK. -okay, but not for long as this is... The Lord that Rebellion Esports will be able to defend against. Yeah, another Lord defended by Rebellion Esports. Same story as game number two. We could see a Matt now with the Wind of Nature. And this is going to be a long one. Sir Cloud, you know, it's mm -hmm. 18 minutes, so we're up for it. Why not? This is just the first match for stream. Awesome, by the way. <laughs> so 12 6. 12 6 and Swilo has the Divine Glaive. So he has the magic penetration now. He just needs to land that Eternal Guard. Maybe against Few. Few, by the way, has no depths for this game. So uh, the synergy here of Ogwen and Few is uh, doing a great job for Falcons, Avery Brand, hence the 8K goalie. Now, looking at the items, this is where we're almost close to game equilibrium, right? So it's uh, more on who has better kit on extended team oh, fights. Okay, he okay. found Rio though, but not only on the Rio, on the TZ, he does have the immortality still active, so they will not overcommit onto him. And though the Zama Force is open, KTZ comes in from the back onto cars, also not the target that they want. Yup, and uh, that's a nice thing actually uh, for Falcon Safety Brand because of course doesn't have that flicker and their minion wave of the bottom lane is literally flowing. Now Flap TZ has this blade armor. So he is the one to force uh, or to be up front against Matt. So Falcon Safety Brand, actually they, can, they could even go for a split push since the majority of the inhibitor turrets has been destroyed. So Cars has the information right now, Sir Cloud, that Falcon Safety Brand is to reset the Lord. Again, Rebellion Esports, they can contest this one, but they need Cars to single out. Could be Kyle TZ, all that the donors welcome anyone oh. for Falcon Safety Brand. And you mentioned about the Daytona Soka is used by Cars and immediately flickers back onto Ogwen, but Ogwen is again not the target that they want. So they thought us welcome, mm, a little bit wasted there. Yep, yep. In fact, they took damage while they used that they thought us welcome. So the execution is a bit... Mm. Oh yeah, it's a bit declining here for Rebellion Esports. And we have Open jumping and jumping all over. It's, it's as if he's a basketball player. No, he's the ball in basketball. But Lord, take it here by Falcon Safety Bren. Another threat for Rebellion Esports. And Rebellion Esports, it's kind of hard now to clear this minion wave. Main damager is going to be Rio and Matt. But again, it all boils down to that set of play from Cars and even Audi TC. But these heroes we've mentioned are more on the single target type of set of play, right? As compared to Ogwen's hero, as compared to Flap's hero. So uh, Swelo, Cars, and Audi TC has to be on point on those layering of skills. And we are also passing the 50k mark for both teams. So, itemization wise, will not, uh, as a goal lead wise, will not mean much anymore. Yeah. Wow. It uh, depends now if you have the Winter Crown, which Cars, by the way, just bought. Mm -hmm. If you have the Immortality. We only have a single player from uh, Falcon's Apri brand that has the Immortality, though, and that is Open. Oh, check this out. And uh, on the DC is good. Take a lot of damage there. Wow, the other members of Falcon Apri are focused on to taking down the inhibitor turret. And now the counter comes in from Rebel and Eastman. He's trying to defend that. Grab up from DZ. Goes all the way behind. Keep your eye on the lower side of the map as they will finish off this round. But Ow. hang that thought for a second. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. No more hanging on as Falcon's AP brand will take our Rebellion Esports. Whatever sweet.